as many a northern westerner traveler has done before. I came to Tino's to investigate a myth. My myth was about a whale. In 1854, a rare sperm whale was seen by German naturalists beached near this beach here in 1854. Only 164 sperm whales are known to exist today in the Eastern Mediterranean, as are all wild animal sightings on this island and increasingly throughout the world. The endangered mammals and plants of Greece are little documented and underprotected. Greece is, after all, one of the least biodiverse states in the European Union. So it seemed like the right place to look for forgotten or little understood beasts. I walked this island and couldn't find any. Where are the wild animals? Thousands of years of settlements and large-scale agriculture on a dry, rocky, windswept, embattled island have stripped the island of what we can imagine was once a thriving site for migratory mammals, fish, birds, floating seeds, and lofted insects. While bereft of diverse biological life, this island and this beach are rich in another monster, and one little understood for its influence in life. Wind, an energy resource that brought to Tinos Phoenicians, Greeks, Italians, and now North Americans Asians and Australian sailors. This wind draws not only people, but a new suit of suitors and a new gaggle of non-human monsters to this island. monster I discovered as I walked this island is a half myth and half real monster. It is a chimera and it is the wind turbine. It promises renewable energy and the protection of life on planet earth and also threatens economic exploitation and ecological ruin for locals. Wind power as you know is contentious on this island, with many activists claiming that wind power is quickly developing without care for the non-human, biological, and cultural places of this island. Looming on mountain ridges, whirring a ghastly otherworldly hum, blinking to communicate with heavenly airplanes, pushing aside other organisms with their concrete footprint, harnessing and appearing to control the wind, coming from afar of an incomprehensible size, extracting a resource for export, the wind turbines are considered monsters for, for many in Tinos. I experienced the disinterested, non-human force of the wind while making this video art. Deploying a drone, to document the ecological impact of the wind turbine, I floated above the wind turbines in a near gale force wind. The images situated the turbines as aliens in a lunar landscape of wild thyme, white quartzite, and green marble. But these images were not to be. While piloting, a gust emerged from the north and shoved the drone down the south slope at an alarming speed. We watched the drone try to return to its human masters, the whirring magnets in its motors at full throttle. 